It's true that every student needs a hook for high school. Every student needs a reason to come to school. For some students, that's athletics. Um, for some students, it's ROTC. But at South Florence, we have a large community of students that their hook and their reason for coming to school is their interest in the arts. I started my journey here at South Florence almost 20 years ago as a chorus teacher and we have been working hard to bring great arts programs to the community and I'm excited that in the past five years we really have put in place the facilities necessary to do it in a level we never dreamed possible 20 years ago. You can gather such a good sense of community here with other students who think like you and have the same goals as you. I think people are hesitant to join chorus because they're like, oh, I can't sing, like, oh, I'm not that talented, but really it helps you learn a lot. It's a good experience for anybody. You learn a lot of life lessons. So I felt like I gained so many friends, and not only just like dance, like people you're dancing with, but best friends, you know, people to encourage you, people that can uplift you and cheer you on as you're dancing. Pencils, color pencils, markers, play with glazing in painting, ceramics and now I'm in drawing. I've been doing regular band since fifth grade and I've been doing marching band since freshman year. If you look from a higher point of view, it's a picture that we show in each movement. One of the great things about our fine arts program here at the Florence One Center for Early Arts is that students that are enrolled in our classes, in most cases, they're getting honors credit, and in select classes, they're also getting um, college credit through our dual enrollment program. If you look at our performing arts facilities, they really are some of the best you're gonna find, not just in South Carolina, but across, across the country. One of the greatest things about working here at the Florence One Center for the Arts is the collaboration within our department and also with the rest of the faculty. We also do a good job of encouraging our students to collaborate with other organizations in the community. For example, Florence Little Theater and the Florence Symphony Orchestra. If you look at our newly renovated band, orchestra and chorus rooms, uh, they're, they're phenomenal. We have two uh, digital piano studios and uh, dedicated spaces for both theater and dance, and all of them get to uh, participate in fantastic performances in a newly renovated auditorium, something that we only dreamed of 20 years ago. Learning and practicing fine arts requires discipline and focus. Whether mastering a musical instrument, perfecting a dance routine, or refining painting techniques, students develop patience, perseverance, and concentration. For our visual arts programs, we've put in place a pottery studio, uh, a newly renovated AP art studio, and great facilities for digital art and photography. And of course, we have in place a very well-equipped video uh, film production studio and a recording studio that's gotten a lot of attention from folks around the state. Participating in the fine arts helps in building students' confidence. Whether it's performing on stage, presenting an artwork, or playing an instrument, students gain a sense of accomplishment, which really contributes to increased self-esteem. So it's almost a school within a school where those students truly feel like their interests are important and they are valued for who they are and they're encouraged to explore that and to reach their full potential in the arts. So I'm very proud of what we all have done here over the past five years, excited to share it with the community. And if you don't have a child in the arts yet, now is a good time. <laughs>